John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Olsheimer. I'm a consumer credit expert. I've been in the credit industry for almost 30 years now, and I've spent time at FICO, which is the company obviously behind the FICO credit scoring system, and Equifax, which is one of three generally recognized credit reporting agencies in the United States. So today I'm going to discuss how um, your credit report reflects authorized users that you have added to your credit card. So this video is primarily for primary credit card holders. So for those of you who have gone out and applied for credit uh, and have gotten a credit card and so you're, what, you're what's referred to as the primary card holder. You're the one who's liable for the debt associated with the credit card. You have the ability to add one or more authorized users of your credit card account, which means that you can actually set up your account to where other people are added to it and they may or may not receive a card with their name embossed on it and they have full charging privileges on that on your card. And so the the reason you would do this <clears throat> obviously is to give someone the ability to charge things. So in other words portable capacity of a credit card. It also benefits the authorized user because normally the credit card issuer will report information about the account to the authorized user's credit reports and of course that can this can lead to a better credit score and um, a partially rebuilt credit report so the question is as well when i add somebody or multiple people to my credit card as an authorized user does that somehow change the way the account is being reported on my credit reports and the answer to the question is is not really unless the authorized users have actual cards and run up large balances, then obviously the balance can show up on your credit report. But as far as whether A, whether or not you've added someone as an authorized user, no. And then B, if you have added people as authorized users, there is no list of other people's names associated with your credit report that indicate that you've added them as an authorized user. So from that perspective, your credit report is pretty clean in as much as it doesn't indicate how many authorized users that any particular card has. So clearly you know how many people you've added and clearly the credit card issuer knows how many people have been added to a particular account as an off user, but the credit reporting agencies do not know that. Now, <clears throat> If the process works as it is intended, then the account is gonna show up on the authorized user's credit reports, and then certainly things like the date open, the balance, the credit limit, any payment history, all that stuff is gonna be reported and it's all fair game uh, in credit scoring systems. So in that respect, authorized users do show up, but they show up on, it, does, it shows up on their credit reports, it does not show up on your credit reports. And that's actually the way you want it to be, and here's why. Uh, if for some reason you were to all of a sudden have all these names associated with the account appearing on the credit report, then that information would be fair game, it could be viewed by other lenders, it can be viewed by credit scoring systems, and you never really know. It's kind of hard to predict what the reaction of that would be. And further, in, t in contemporary credit reporting and credit card environments, other competing credit card issuers don't have any idea how many authorized users you have on any particular credit card. So let's say, for example, you have a credit card with, you know, Joe's Bank, and you add an authorized user to that particular credit card. Well, Dave's Bank doesn't know that. And so Dave's Bank cannot, you know, react or do something punitive to you simply because you've added someone as an authorized user to a competing credit card. So in that respect, you're actually in pretty good shape because there seems to be kind of like this line of demarcation between your particular account and the authorized users uh, as far as your credit reporting goes, which is which is the way you're, you actually want it to be. 
So if you have any other questions about authorized users or how they are reported to credit reports or how they can affect credit scores, which they certainly can, um, then drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day. We'll talk again soon. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.